In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly apply the product rule to a product of more than two functions. When taking a course on differential calculus, you will learn how to take the derivative of a function like this. To take the derivative, you would apply the product rule. Once you've gotten to this step, perhaps next you would then simplify it. Easy enough. However, what if you encountered a problem that looked like this? So this one would be a little bit more effort. Uh, and if you encounter this, perhaps you would be opening up your browser and looking for an online calculator to do it for you. However, there is a rather quick way to do it by yourself. Here's how to do that. The first step is that I'm going to take the first half of this and put it here. I'm going to put a bracket here because I'm going to multiply by some expression here. Next, I'm going to look at this part and I'm going to see that it's effectively to the power of 1. So I'm going to put a 1 here. I'm going to multiply that by something here. The denominator, I'm going to put x plus 3x squared here, and then its derivative. Next, I'm going to look at this part. And I'm going to see that it's raised to a power of 3 over 2. And then in the denominator, and then in the numerator. And then I'm going to look at this part. It's under a square root, which means the power is a half. And then its derivative. Like that. Then you do the second half. So this part here is the x derivative of this. Now this is in the denominator, which means that this should have actually been a negative. The same is true for this. Now notice I didn't use the 7. That's because I could have written the 7 as 7x seven to the power of 0. And because the power is 0, I'd be multiplying that term by 0 by following this scheme. So it wouldn't have contributed anything anyways. The general formula, it looks something like this. Suppose I have a function that's some constant k of here times a function to the power of a power of b, u to the power of c, w to the power of d, and so on. Or to differentiate this with respect to x, looks like this. and so on. Of course, you can use trig if there's trig in the problem, but then you have to follow the trig rules for differentiation. 
And there we go. Thank you for watching my video. And if you enjoyed it, why not give it a like and subscribe for more content.